Hello my friends, in this lesson we will learn how to change the data source of a table in Power BI from Excel to SQL Server. There is no direct way to do this in Power BI, so we will use the M code in Power Query, we will manipulate it in order to get our result. As you can see from this image, in left we have the import window for comma separated values but is the same in Excel and in the right it's the window for SQL Server database. They are not the same, you cannot just open the source from Excel and enter the credential of SQL Server database. That's why we will manipulate the M code. Let's go to Power BI and change the source code. We have here the supermarket data table which is imported from CSV. Okay, let's go to the source of the query. We edit it and we go to the source. Okay, so we have this window. We cannot change it to SQL Server. So what we do instead, we start to import the table from SQL Server and then we will copy the code. So we go to get data, SQL Server and here I will enter the credential for the SQL Server database. I will connect to the Adventure Work database that is it is in a SQL Server database in my computer and I will import the fact table internet sales table okay so I enter the credentials okay and we select only the fact table fact internet sales load okay so the table is imported let's look at the table okay we have this data which is very different from the supermarket data okay and now we want to change the source of the supermarket data to connect to SQL Server and instead to have this table. We go to the newly imported fact internet sales from SQL Server, edit the query and here we go to advanced editor and we, we need to copy this code. Okay, we copy this code and now we close it, we close it and go to the supermarket data, to our table imported from Excel, okay, and we edit the query. We go to the advanced editor again and here we will replace the source with the text the source from the SQL Server. Okay. Copy and done. And now our table supermarket data has the same columns and rows and data as the fact internet table imported from SQL Server because now we have again imported it directly from Internet SQL Server. Okay, we go to the source and we see that the source has been changed to the SQL Server database. And now we can delete the first import from SQL Server, the fact Internet Sales, because we no longer need it as in the supermarket data, we already have the correct data from SQL Server. Okay, here in the calendar table we have an error because it has a, a relation to the columns of the previous supermarket data, but now we have changed it. So, this is the trick to change the data source from Excel to SQL Server. I hope you found this video interesting. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.